Welcome back to Porch Poppin. I'm DC Paul here again with Terry Bakke, the editor in chief for Verite News. We're delivering updates regarding the In the Dark series and the growing uncertainty surrounding police reform in Baton Rouge, stemming from the resignation of their police chief, Paul, back in November. Terry, In the Dark has given our readers a look into the inner workings of the Baton Rouge Police Department. Does police chief Murphy Paul think that the reform he set in place will be sustained under the next chief? Well, Paul considers himself a reformer. And he believes it, that he's moved the department in the right direction. There are folks in Baton Rouge outside the department who would stand up to keep the reforms. Now, what would you say uh, Paul is most proud of? Well, he believes he's changed the culture of the Internal Affairs Division. And to Paul, that is where you have to start. It's such an insightful and important series, and the reporters sifted through thousands and thousands of documents to pull it off. Terry, you have any final thoughts? I do. I'd like to commend Clarissa Sosen and Daryl Kahn for a phenomenal reporting job. But I'd also like to especially thank my friend, Verite Editor-at-Large, Tim Morris, for his work in organizing the structure and timeline for the series. Well, Tim sounds like a great editor. One of the best in the business. Well, thanks, Terry. That's all we have for you today. Continue to follow us on all social channels or visit veritynews.org for more in-depth coverage of In the Dark.